I finally finished the Chameleon Baron project. It's now officially for sale in my Etsy store. But now I want to share with you the details and how I prepared the final product. By the time I redesigned and received all my parts in the mail, there was still a lot of work to do. To start, the handles. First, I sanded down every handle to ensure that the surface had a nice and smooth finish for the user. I also installed the brass inserts, two brass inserts per handle, which allow for the final assembly. Next, it was time to look at the texture pads. For these, all I had to do was apply a small sticker to the center of the pad. These identify which level of roughness you're currently using. Just like the last prototypes, I then laser engraved the front and back side of the main plate. In this case, I redesigned both sides just to give a better aesthetic appearance. Finally, I had to laser cut the foam pads. This time I refined my process a little bit, which helped me to keep the foam sheets flat as possible during the cut. This time around, I had to think about packaging my product. To start, I found a box and packing paper that fit the size of my product, and also the aesthetics that I'm looking for. I also custom designed stickers, which I'm really excited about, and then applied those to those boxes which I'd previously ordered. I even printed a small diagram and warning label that I can put inside of every box. With that, I finally had all the components I needed to do the final assembly of the product. I honestly had so much fun with this part. It was really fun for me to see everything coming together and I'm really proud of the way things came out. Now, for those of you that have been following along with the series, I want to briefly talk about the differences between the final product and the last prototype. For one, it's white. I think that this aesthetic change went pretty well, and I hope that you really like the look of it too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Another big change was the attachment method for the texture pads. The screw now come in from the bottom of the baron. I mentioned this in the last video and the changes went through pretty smoothly, but the one thing I'll mention here is that you don't want to over tighten those screws. They're not intended to bottom out on anything, so when you screw it in, you want to tighten until everything is just nicely sandwiched together and you feel a slight resistance, not until you force everything together and really compress it. The other main change was that I removed the spiral cutouts on the texture pad. I did this so that I could opt for a more predictable and reliable cutout pattern. Something that didn't flex and bend in unpredictable ways. And I think that covers the details of this product pretty well. What I'm most excited about is that I get to share this with you now. As I mentioned earlier, it's for sale in my Etsy store now, and it includes the Baron with two different texture pads and plenty of extra screws in case you lose any. What I'll say is that for financial reasons, I didn't order a bunch of quantity of this product to start, so there's a very limited quantity available in my Etsy store for now. This is the first time that I've developed something like this all the way from start to finish. Now, I know it's not perfect, but I'm really proud of how it came out, and I'm really hopeful that this provides value for you guys, whether it's buying and using this Baron itself or just inspiring you to build and create something yourself. Again, I'm super thankful for all of the feedback, comments, and support along the way, and I really hope that you enjoyed this series. I look forward to bringing you guys the next one soon. Thanks.